There is a lot of people out there talking smack about Parker Boats. Well, today, we're gonna smack back. At the same time, we're gonna address three known issues with Parker fishing boats even I had. Hustle and fish, let's go. I always find the fish, always. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Hustle Channel, the best place for anglers, boaters, and big game hunters. Today's topic, three issues with Parker boats, starting with number one on everyone's list, ride quality. Now, for my fellow anglers who fish rough ocean territories, I would assume a uh, Parker boat is not for you. Keep in mind, Parker boats focus on three qualities, strength, simplicity, and seaworthiness. If you want a boat that focuses on ride quality, I would encourage you to look other places. I got no complaints. I'm in California, and to me, it handles just great. I do feel a lot of the complaints are coming from the passengers, not to say their point of view is not valid, because it is. It's just, it had me thinking, maybe it's not so bad for me because I am the only one with the captain chair. I am the only one that has a suspension pole and I'm always conscious of the waves and swells coming towards the boat. What do you guys think? Please let me know in the comments. Number two, trim tabs. They're definitely mandatory right out the gate. I do feel by now Parker should have this issue addressed with engineering, but it is what it is. I had a few bros who got the newer Parkers when they added the new little tuna gate in the back, and there were some serious issues with the trim tabs. They ended up getting oversized trim tabs and it solved the problem, but it sucks because it does slow you down, it does burn more fuel, but it does do the job. My last trip to Tanner Bank, I learned something new about trim tabs. I was on my way back home from a two day trip. I pushed it to the limit and my gauges were telling me that I had exactly enough fuel to get home. So what I did was lift the trim tabs up. Luckily we were in good weather but right away, I started to notice a better fuel mileage. And I made it back to shore with a few extra gallons to spare. Keep that in mind on your next trip. Before we go to the third issue with Parker Boats, I wanna give a quick shout out to last week's winner from episode, Why Should I Buy a Parker Boat? If you missed it, you could click right here and check it out. The tuna came in at a whopping 235. Joshua82 guest 225, you were the closest one, so you are the winner. Now, if you didn't win, you got a chance today, boys. Guess the weight of this tuna right here. Leave your answer in the comments. I'll find them, and then I'll find you. Number three. Drum roll, please. Parker Parasites. Not just any parasites, these are walking and talking parasites. No disrespect to anybody, because these parasites are smart. They're internet savvy, they know how to use Facebook, YouTube. I mean, these parasites are so smart, they don't even got Parkers, but they know everything about them. Just have caution, because they've been known to discourage an angler from buying a dream boat, which I definitely oppose. If you got the means to buy a Parker, buy it. Life's way too short. Just know the Parker parasites will come, but you'll survive. Hustle and fish, let's go. I always find the fish, always. 